Hey guys, and welcome to the very first episode of the Gentleman Co Show. I am your co-host, Joseph Valente. And his co-host, Marcus Bell. Tonight, we are going to be giving you an action-packed episode. And it's our very first one. So we've put together a really cool lineup. But I really want to tell you, before we get started, what the show is actually about. So we decided that we were going to bring gentlemen back. Okay, so the show's focus is around how you dress, how you act, how you treat women, fashion, style, food, and all about growing as an individual. Okay, so what you can expect from us is an array of special guests, fashion styles, uh, product reviews, life skills, dating advice, and much more. Yeah, also, uh, we're going to be taking a lot of questions from the audience and yeah. reporting that feedback. And we've got a great little segment coming up called Ask the Audience. So um, every week, look out on our Gentleman Co channel on Instagram because we're going to be asking lots of questions, getting lots of feedback, and we're going to have some real fun reading out what people say. So where can you see the Gentleman Co show? It's on YouTube, it's on yeah. Instagram, uh, Spotify iTunes, yep. because we're going to be doing it as a um, video show and also a podcast. You'll be able to listen to the audio and you'll be able to look at us two beautiful geezers um, every two weeks on a Monday night uh, is when we're planning to do it. So, you know, uh, make sure after the weekend you um, get some time and you watch the show. So let's jump on to the feedback, shall we, Marcus? Remember, this is our segment, Ask the Audience, and you should see a cool little graphic fly across the screen right now. Let's go. Okay, so we asked the audience um, an array of questions. Around 100 people got back to us, so we're gonna give you the questions we asked, the answers, and our feedback on that. So the first question that we asked was, what do you find attractive in a person? The majority of answers answers was your typical gentleman-like attitude that we would expect. Um, it is confidence, it is loyalty, it is honesty, and good butts. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a um, lady and you're watching this right now, I want you to write in the comments on the video whether you like a bad boy or whether you like a nice guy. Comment below and let us know. <laughs> but yeah, nice butts. Listen, we all like a nice bum. I'm sure that nobody can argue with that. Um, and if you want to put a picture of that too in the comments, then you're free to. Uh, if you're a lady, not a guy. So number two was finances. How important is your partner's current or potential partner's finances? So we said from one to five being the least important and five to 10 being the most important. 35% of you guys picked one to five and 65% of you picked five to 10. So 35% of you are not bothered about your partner's finances and 65% of you are. For me, I don't know, Joseph, <laughs> For me, 100% important. I mean, I don't want to be going out with some, I mean, actually, that's bullshit because um, I'm usually the breadwinner. So as long as I'm making money, I don't care about whether the other person's making money. You made money a paper, bro. Uh, if the girl's got cash, then great, but I'll pay anyway. Um, and if she hasn't, I'll pay anyway. So for me, it don't matter. But I think it matters more to somebody that is broke and wants somebody rich. I don't know. Yeah, well, I think, you know, people look for um, stability, I think, in relationships as well. And if somebody doesn't have the finances behind them, then, you know, that kind of sets an example of the type of person that they are, you know? Bums! <laughs> On to the next. <laughs> Okay, so we've done a um, looks to personality ratio. So um, we asked what was more important to you, personality or looks, and a very high percentage of you guys said that personality was a lot more important than looks. I mean, for me, looks has to come first because that is the initial attraction between two people. You know, you don't slide into somebody's DMs and think, hey man, you know, this guy seems like a really nice guy. It's not that. They're going to initially go on 100% the looks. 100% looks. 100% looks. The only reason I said I'd agree to do this show with Marcus is because he's a good looking geezer. If he was ugly, I wouldn't be sitting with him right now. Um, <laughs> you savage. <laughs> <laughs> he's only joking, guys. 
So the next question was, do you find somebody being popular attractive? And we have a massive 84% of you saying no, that isn't something that you find important um, being attracted to someone. 16% of you saying yes. Um, me and Joseph spoke earlier about this and um, Joseph picked on it could depend on the, the age of people answering the question. I think when you get older, it's probably not something you actually want in a relationship. And when you're younger, it probably is. Kind of relevant in school and college, I suppose. I mean, now what's even popular? Like, I can yeah. even think of that being on my radar as a as a question. So, you know, it is dependent on the audience, but I like the 84% saying no, because I don't think it's an important factor. No. I do agree that looks is number one and then personality number two, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I think as you get older as well, you sort of get a, um, a smaller group of friends and you don't kind of want to be in the limelight so much. I mean, it, if it's your job and you're, you're an Instagram influencer, etc., then yeah, you know, you're mm. probably going to look for that. Okay, so we've got how important is it to your, for your partner to dress smart or casual? We had 48% of you say that dressing smart was something you, um, you, you liked more. And um, yeah, 52% of you saying that you preferred casual. Me, myself, I always prefer the smart sense of dress. I think casual is acceptable for lounging and if you're going to the gym, etc. But in terms of being in the public eye, being smart, I mean, um, for me, smart's number one. 50-50, uh, quite intrigued, although casual just tipped the bar. Um, you know, the reason we're doing the Gentleman Co Show is because we like that old school gentleman dress. Yeah. You know, back in the 50s where they were making the effort to put a tie and a shirt on. Yeah. The youngsters and wearing blazers. Like, that's just cool. Um, I know I'm in a t-shirt right now and I've got braces well, that's on. That's a baller t-shirt. Is, is this smart casual? I don't know because it's a t-shirt. Smart casual. I'd wear a suit to the gym if I could. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know you, you would. Know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're hopefully going to turn that. I think that's one of our personal goals. That when we redo that in a couple of months, yeah. the smart is um, through the roof for our audience and we yeah. get that value across. You want to see them gentleman vibes inside. Okay, so last question we asked, how bothered you about how many intimate partners your current partner or potential partner has had? Um, you know, in the past. We had 40% of you say that you are bothered and 60% of you said that you aren't fussed. Me personally, you know, be it a pride issue, I struggle to deal with that. That is something that would massively put me off somebody. I think so. a lot of people as well talk about this, right? I mean, if my yeah. missus is ex-missus or whatever had been with a load of people, I wouldn't even ask the question. I wouldn't want to know. Some people yeah. are very open about it. I'd bury it. I'd, you know, ignorance is um, bliss. bliss, you know. Mm. So, but for me, it's minimal numbers. It yeah. has to be minimal, minimal, One minimal. hand, baby. So the little feature we've got coming up next on the Gentleman Co Show is the King's Speech. Okay, what we want to do here is just give you a real boost on confidence. Just want to make you feel good, right? Walking away with some power, with some confidence. And I'm going to just go for it right now. You are a hero. You are a champion. You are a king. You are number one. You are unstoppable. No one can stop you. You are the best thing since life, Fred. You are a champion. You are a knight. Believe in yourself, back yourself, love yourself, walk into a room with power, feel unstoppable, feel incredible, okay? And love your damn self and never worry one little moment about what somebody else is thinking of you because you are the master of your universe. He-Man, baby. So in this segment, we're going to be doing the product review. What we've chose to use is the Schwarzkopf Got To Be hairstyling range. So first off, 
We've got the Schwarzkopf um, Styling Glue. So this is gonna be good for slick back hairstyles, something to make your hair look a little bit wet. Next up, we've got the Got To Be, um, what's this, a hair volumizing powder. Um, this is quite good if you've got your hair down and you want to add volume to your hair. It's quite dry, it's not gonna be as greasy or, or you know, wet looking as the other. Next up, what's this? Phenomenal got to be finishing hairspray for groomed style. So this is also going to be for the slick back, wet look. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using them. Yeah, no, I think you've got a real good range of products there um, for us to get stuck in on. You know, and I've used this one myself in the past, um, but the other yeah. two are new to me. I'm actually one of the powders. I have found it difficult to comb through when you put yeah, too much on. Yeah, it's very dry. Um, very but dry. we'll keep that for uh, next week. So loving it, so that Schwarzkopf got to be, um, you know, and with this section, we've just chosen hair products as a first um, thing to review, but please make sure you comment in the notes below and let us know what you want us to review. You know, we're gonna push it to the limit and we're gonna have a nice little segment where we do it from home reviewing and, you know, in action review as well. So it can be anything, right? It can be anything. Yeah, after shades, body wash, deodorants, you know, anything that is to do with male grooming. So now we're gonna review some of our own clothing line and um, we wanna use our products, obviously, um, that's what the brand represents, but we're also gonna be able to review other clothes, um, other brands in this section as well, that's all about fashion. But to kick off, um, we're gonna introduce the Gentleman Co range. Now, we've decided to go for two brands, Gentleman Company and Gentleman Co, both with two slightly different styles, one with the iconic bow tie underneath. So this is one of our real classic Co t-shirts, it's in Italian, that means the classic. And I'm wearing, obviously, the Gentleman Company version, but these t-shirts are fantastic. They're 96% cotton and 4% elastin. Yeah, 96% cotton and 4% elastin. They fit very well, they feel good, they feel nice. Um, they wash well, they're great quality, and we're only charging, um, I think, £39 a t-shirt. So go on to thegentlemancompany.co.uk and check them out. Now we've launched our clothing line with only um, two ranges of the Il Classico, and the other one is the Gentleman Company in white. Now you can have Gentleman Company in black or white, and Gentleman Co. in black or white. But once again, you know, they're very simple, very effective. This is what the logo looks like on Gentleman Co. Um, it's a great brand, looks great, you know, and we've packaged them up and they look awesome. We've got our own um, labels in there. Um, they're solid, they're robust, and they're not gonna get damaged in delivery. But we're keeping it simple, keeping it clean. And the range at points is going to expand into all sorts. And, you know, yeah. what's your vision or what's the vision yeah. for the product? Producer? I mean, we're, you know, we're obviously going for that gentleman vibe. So we're going to be looking at shirts. We're going to be looking at blazers, coats. We're going to be doing trousers, you know, boxers, socks, all sorts, a whole array to make you feel like the gentleman you are. You've got to start somewhere. And, you know, I remember the conversations that we had in the earlier days was look, let's go get belts, let's get jackets, let's get trousers. Yeah. You know, we were gonna launch with a whole host of different things, but the reality is we don't know what works and what doesn't work yet. So it's about product testing, trial and error, and getting feedback, you know, and we're using the Gentleman Company show to get the brand out to the masses, but most importantly, to be able to speak to you guys directly through the camera. It's not often two founders of a clothing business um, are in front of their consumers in an accessible way that yeah. we plan to be. So, you know, drop us comments below and let us know what you want from fashion. Let us know what you don't like as much as what you like and hopefully we'll be able to build some shit hot products over the coming years. So thank you very much for watching the very first episode of The Gentleman Co Show. This is gonna air once a fortnight. Um, you can find us on Spotify, um, iTunes, Instagram, and what else do we have? And yeah, Instagram, and, and on TV. YouTube, yeah. yeah, on YouTube, you know. We're gonna try and get it out into every 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 social media channel, but the reality yeah, is this platform. is a longer term show, so it needs to be on somewhere where you can watch it in detail. But um, make sure you follow at Gentleman Company underscore on Instagram to get yeah. the stories, the short, sharp updates, um, and lots of content on there. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.